Again, it's a bipartisan group of state lawmakers who are now introducing legislation to stiffen reckless driving penalties. In a TMJ4 News exclusive, Ben Jordan shares what's in the pair of bills and why some worry the punishment could be too steep. It is vitally important that we say enough's enough. Republican Representative Bob Donovan thinks deterring reckless driving behavior requires doubling the punishments. The only way then that this can really send a strong message is by getting tough. Uh, with the uh, individuals who engage in this activity. That's why he's authored a pair of bills focused on increasing penalties. The first would double reckless driving citation fines. The bill would also allow judges to double the jail time for criminal reckless driving offenses. For example, a maximum sentence for reckless driving causing great bodily harm would go from 18 months to three years behind bars. If people know that there are going to be consequences for their bad behavior, they adjust their behavior. Donovan's second bill would allow municipalities to pass an ordinance authorizing police to tow vehicles if a person is caught driving recklessly and has a prior reckless driving fine within the past four years that has not been paid. Most of these individuals, if they own that vehicle, they don't want to lose it. Donovan says several Republicans and Democrats have signed on in support. This is where we are. Including Democratic Representative Lakeisha Myers of Milwaukee. I think that at a certain point in time, you have to make a decision. And I think that you have to uh, stand up to people that are intentionally breaking the law in your community. It's not just a nail them, jail them, and bail them kind of situation. Fellow Democratic Representative Supreme Moore Omakunde worries harsher penalties would make matters worse. My concern is, as it's always been with the punitive approach, is that we're going to uh, look to lock people up and it's not going to solve the challenges that we have. And I think that this exacerbates that to, to that point. Representative Donovan and co-sponsors are gearing up for a public hearing next week, the next step in the legislative process. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.